Today, I will attempt to fall 35 blocks in Minecraft and survive. Oh man, we did it, guys. Oh yeah. Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Unobtained, and today is episode 2, and we are in 1.2.5, and that feat that I've just pulled off, and yes, that is 35 blocks, and uh, if you know anything about Minecraft, that should be undoable. <laughs> but yes, guys, that is true. We have survived a 35 block drop. The normal Minecraft player can only survive a 24 block drop, and why is this? Well, in the recent uh, version that we were just in, one, pre-3, I decided to enchant one of every item, which would in turn give me feather falling, and then I combined them all to make feather falling for armor. Now that is insane. <laughs> so this armor is officially broken. We can literally drop from pretty much any height and have a good chance of surviving. The problem is, um, this armor is no longer obtainable. Hey, that's the whole thing about this series. Anyways, what does that mean we get to do? That means we should probably dupe this. So, uh, yeah, anyways, you may notice a little bit different about this here. Uh, we are in a swamp biome now. It's no longer a desert, but hey, that's all cool. Like, as you can see, the plains here is also swampy and then the water is swamp water um, it's pretty weird and then over here I believe we go into a jungle yeah we press F3 yeah we have a jungle here which is really cool because jungles are awesome uh, so we'll probably set up our base around in this amazing vibrant plains um, anyways <sighs> um, the 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 house is over there, and the you know the tree of spawn and stuff, all going well. But we're gonna stick to living in this village for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, the next thing that I want to do in today's episode is attempt to get water to somewhere where it can't go. So first things first, we need to actually find ourselves a cold biome. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually dupe this armor really quick, and then I'm going to head off to there. So I'll see you guys after I've started to uh, explore. Okay, so snowy biome found. Uh, here we are. Ice is what we want, so we should be able to... Ah. Okay, it's not obtainable with so touch yet. This is going to be a potential problem. Um... Because we need it in our inventory in order to uh, do the trick. Oh. Um, hmm. Okay, guys. So, uh, I figured out a solution to this. We're going to have to go into 1.3.1 and then uh, get the ice now. So, here we go get it into our inventory so we'll take maybe hmm I don't know how much to take I'll just take as much as I can uh, because we're then gonna go back to 1.2.5 and then mess with the uh, the ice in the nether because let me turn my volume down when you break ice in the nether uh, in 1.2.5 you get flowing water and so yeah well, we're gonna do that but we had to advance to this but then we're gonna go back uh, I do have a, a backup so we should be able to go back into another version uh, at least that's how it should be um, at least I, I, yeah I believe that's how it will work uh, anyways we're just gonna get I'm gonna get two stacks of ice here 64, perfect. Okay, two stacks. There we go. So now if we go and log out right maybe here. We should have that in our inventory. Alrighty, guys. So now we have the ice, which is really good. So we can now head back to our thing here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit of snow here. I'm going to leave some food, a shovel, 
uh, some saplings. Actually, I'll take the saplings with me. I'll leave some ladders um, and some blocks here. Because I would like to set up some outposts uh, pretty much everywhere in every biome that we're going to be messing with. So there's the coordinates of this outpost, which we have a few items in. And we have figs, or not figs, pigs. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that should work for us. So if we go in this direction, we should get home. Uh, here's a creeper. There we go. So as long as I don't die, we should be able to actually keep this ice on us, which is really nice. So anyways, I'll see you guys back at the base. Alrighty guys. So I've spent some time in the nether and, uh, yeah, wait, do I have the ice with me? I do not. Let me grab the ice here. Uh, boom. Anyways, I went and found another fortress um, and all sorts of stuff. But anyways, I wanted to save the water stuff for you guys. So I dug out this little area. I'm going to call this our nether hub. I think this will be a really nice nether hub. Uh, and we can decorate it over time. But I wanted to get the floor done. So the way I wanted to do the floor is I wanted to have a little water <laughs> um, just on in the floor. You know, like having it kind of in a pool, I guess. Uh, so... The problem with this is we can't update it, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to dig this down two blocks, and we're going to have to decorate it already how we want to, um, which I'm going to do with cobblestone. I'm just going to cover it in cobblestone, uh, basically. That's pretty much all I can think of right now. And anyways, I think that'll be a really fun thing to do, and I think it'll make the nether our nether hub something that, you know, people ask about one day. <laughs> anyways, um... Yeah, I'm going to get to digging this out, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys. So, I've got the little pool here ready, or the area for the pool. So, now it's time to pop in the water. So, we need to place the ice, right? Like so. And we should be able to break it. And, oh, man. Look at that. We have water in the nether. So, let me go ahead and just fill this out like so. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try my best here to actually fill this up with sources here so this should do it this row right here so I'm gonna do it like so yeah that should fill up that middle section I believe yeah that's what that did and then this one we all we have to do I believe is like that that should fill this area up, and then we got to go like this, so. There we go, and that, yep, that does it. So now if we go to here to do the similar thing. And there we go, guys. What the heck? This is something that you just don't see very often. And uh, here, let me just do these two. And there we go, guys. Fully still water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the uh, areas in which the paths are going to be here. Just like so. And yeah, so if we go up here, we should be able to... We go make three obsidian uh, three wide paths um, going out of this section like so there we go oh no that's gonna take a while to redo but oh man okay <laughs> yeah so seeing obsidian or uh, not obsidian water in the nether like this is really cool uh, <laughs> and uh, Yet another unobtainable thing knocked off the list, guys. So, uh, yeah, this is something that I think is really cool. And this is what this whole series is about, as you guys know. Um, but I was thinking, you know, before we up or update, but when so uh, what that would mean is that this would become like as soon as we update that water, it's over. Everything's just going to evaporate. Um, what I was thinking we could do is we could do a little bit of like, uh, like a design, some sort of design with obsidian kind of like going around here. 
Um, I was thinking what we could do is so from this one we go one two and then we, we go in like that so let me let me copy that over from here so let's see one two and then it goes in and back out and then we would do something like that and then there would be blocks knocked out there and then we'd have obsidian I think that looks pretty cool really in my opinion and then uh, of course for now to get back up what we'll do uh, since this can be updated in this version uh, which is fine so we'll just do that but basically it's this one and we go in right so this one here and we go in and then we knock those out like so and then we come in from this one one two boom 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 we do that grab our obsidian here and then we can just fill in this interesting <laughs> design here um, and then we can do it on whoops not there over here and then we'll, we'll probably end up covering this in glass um, just so we don't you know update it like I said um, but I also need to figure out what else we should do. I think maybe we should do some waterfalls in the middle here. I feel like that could be really cool to do. So um, I'm going to mess with the design of this room a little bit more. Uh, and then I'll come back to you guys when I have a nether water room. <laughs> um, and yeah. Alrighty guys, so here we are. Uh, I have decorated this place pretty well here. And I'm liking how it looks. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I basically just did some waterfalls here into this big giant water lake, uh, in the nether here, but, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So I have a tunnel here that goes out into a nether portal, not a nether portal, uh, a nether fortress. Oh, jeez, man. Anyways, what I wanted to do now was I wanted to light up the area and I also wanted to... Maybe get some really cool screenshots here of just water in the nether. So what I was thinking is, you know, seeing as this right here is a pretty iconic nether kind of look. We're going to go put some waterfalls in here. Oh, uh, let's get rid of that. Um, here, first of all, let's do that and get rid of that lava. Okay, you know what? This is a waste of uh, time. <laughs> Let's go this way. <laughs> uh, anyways, what we can do here is we can start some water just falls in the uh, random nether here. And they need to have a block below them, but there you go. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, God. Did you do that to me, Ghast? Why? Why, man? I wonder if this drops. It does. Uh, but we have our silk touch here, so we should be able to get the actual block. Yeah. Oh, no, please no. Please no. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on. I don't want to fall here. Let me get up this waterfall. Yes, okay. Waterfalls in the nether, guys. Waterfalls in the nether. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, let's go into our amazing nether hub here, which is full of water because it's amazing. Uh, and this doesn't look centered, but it is, guys. I centered it around this torch, not the portal. Um, cool, guys. I'm super happy with this. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's much I can do uh, with this except put in the lights. So we're going to put the lights in right here and here in every single section. So boom, boom. Very nice. And then if we... Uh, oh, wait. We have the waterfalls, of course. So they're going to actually be kind of useful. Because <laughs> uh, we updating these won't do anything. It's just updating the actual water here will so 
that's a thing. But I, I don't think we will, at least at first. Um, I'm not sure. Ah, anyways, guys, I don't know if there's much more stuff to talk about with this video, guys. I think ending it with swimming in water in the nether is a pretty good way to end this video, guys. Um, but anyways, uh, before I go, I just want to ask you guys for a little bit of feedback. And we will get my skin soon, by the way. So, yeah. Um, my feedback that I'm going to be asking for is... Uh, what can I do to make this series more interesting for you guys? Uh, I feel like uh, it is a pretty interesting concept, but I want to make it as interesting as possible. That was a bit close. And uh, if you guys have any ideas on like ways I can make this a bit more entertaining or just anything like that, please let me know in the comment section because I would love to know because yeah, improving content is one of my favorite things. So. <laughs> Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Creepy sounds, and goodbye.